so the last topic on this lesson is called as weight so you may be using this term often so there is a discrimination between mass and weight mass and weight are not the same quantities okay so mass and weight is not the same quantities mass means it is the number of matters by which you are made up of but if the gravitational force is acted upon by that mass okay if the gravitational force is going to act upon that mass in that case it is called as is your weight so because of the gravity the mass gets attracted towards the center of the earth in that case we call that as your weight so mass and weight are not the same physical quantities mass is the matter by which we are composed of the matter by which a particular object is made up of but weight is that mass into acceleration due to gravity because the gravity acts upon that mass by which we obtain the term weight so now look at here the weight of the body is a force by by which the earth attracts to its center so the weight of the body will vary from place to place you might study in your geography that acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational force is maximum at the poles and minimum at the equator so when a person travel towards a po pole he feel the body is to be uh, the weight is to be high comparing to the points at the equator similarly if you start moving away from the earth what happens the gravitational force decreases therefore you will feel your weight to be much less now imagine i'm going to allow you to travel to moon so in moon the gravitational force is so small okay comparing to our earth if you go to the moon you will feel weightless why because there is less gravitational force even a person who is obese if he goes to the moon he can do everything easily he doesn't he won't feel much heavier why because the absence or a very negligible amount of gravitational force so weight of the body is nothing but the mass of the body into acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational force so whenever the gravitational force acts upon a person he will feel his own mass so the next one is it is given here see the weight of the body decreases as we go higher so why once we go higher means from away from your earth now imagine if this is your earth okay so at the earth in poles your gravity will be maximum i mean the weight will be maximum why gravity is maximum but at the center this is your equator line is yes or no at your equator line your weight will be minimum comparing to the poles because your gravity will be very less now imagine a person is going away from the atmosphere this is how your atmosphere will be is yes or no so the person is going away from the atmosphere once he goes higher and higher and higher he will feel the weight to be less he will feel the weight to be less so that is what it is stated here you understood okay so the next topic is whenever i i told you already whenever you learn a quantity you have to learn its yeah you have to learn its unit therefore the si unit of weight is newton okay the si unit of weight is newton either you can write in words or you can use the capital n letter you have to use the capital n letter not the small letter so what is the si unit of weight it is newton or it can also be now someone is asking what is your weight you will tell i am 50 kg i am 38 kg i am 46 kg so that kilograms also you can use so here we will call the, them as your kilogram force why because it is a force only right so it's a kilogram force or gram force or dyne dyne is a in another unit system so gram force kilogram force dyne and newton all four are your units of weight so 1 kilogram force is a force by which a body of mass 1 kg is attracted by the earth okay the body of mass 1 kg is attracted by the earth so by earth so by earth means it should be multiplied by your which value yes it should be multiplied by your g value okay that is your gravitational value therefore weight of 1 kg is equal to 1 into 9.8 okay else i'll make it clear okay weight okay of 1 kg so 1 kg f 
so this i can write it as 1 kg into 9.8 therefore 1 into 9.8 it is 9.8 or i can make it as 10 yes or no since it is closer to 10 i can write it as 10 therefore what is 1 kg of value it is 10 newtons or 9.8 newton either you can use this value or this value so 1 kg of value is nothing but 9.8 newton or 10 newton next one is 1 gram what is 1 gram 1 gram will be 1000 So 1 gram will be 1000 dynes or 980 dynes. Okay, 1 gram will be 1000 dynes, 980 dynes. So before going to the spring balance, we will learn something between the difference between mass and weight. Okay, so mass is the amount of matter contained in this. If this mass is attracted by the earth gravity, you call them to be as your weight. So or simply I will write weight is m into g. g is nothing but your earth's gravity. We will use small g, not capital G. So, mass means just the number of matter content, that is the molecules or atom. If uh, if this is acted upon by your gravity, it is called as your weight. Okay, next one. The mass will be a constant quantity. It will not change from one place to another place. For example, if a particular material is made up of 1000 molecules, it will be 1000 everywhere. But the weight will change. As I told you already, the poles and equator, the G value is changing. Therefore, the weight will also change. Next one, mass of the body can never be zero. It can never be zero. Yes or no? So, once if it is made up of, it is already made up of some atoms and molecules. But weight of the body can be zero. How if the gravity becomes zero? Hmm? If the gravity becomes zero. Imagine what equation I gave you. Weight is equal to m into g. Now my mass is 20 but my gravity is 0. Therefore anything into 0 you will get 0. So weight can be 0, mass cannot be 0. Next one, the SI unit is kilogram. For this one we will use Newton. Okay, this is kilogram not kgf. Understand the difference? This is kilogram and this is kgf. Why? Because kilogram force. Okay. Here it is kilogram force for this one it is only kilogram. So now we will learn why we are supposed to use physical balance for mass and a spring balance for weight. Okay. So now the last difference can you see here we will be using beam balance or physical balance. But here we will be using spring balance. You all know how does your beam balance or physical balance will work. Yes or no. But how does the spring balance work? How it is working? What is the principle behind it? So let's look into it. Okay. So a spring balance, if you look at your spring balance, okay, this is a metal case, inside that you will have a small slit, in that slit you will have a spring which is attached to the ring over here and the another end, the spring is attached to the ring over here, the another end is attached to the hook, okay, so inside this you will have a spring like this, so along the metal case you will have your markings. So markings like 0, 100 grams, 200, 300. So it will be in grams. Okay, it will be in grams. So this is how your spring balance will be. So now what I am going to do, I will attach a weight here. I will attach a small weight. So automatically the spring will start to extend. Why it is extending? Because of your gravity. Because gravity will always pull any object downwards. Yes or no? It will always pull any objects downwards. So once you attach a weight here or any mass or a stone or anything. Once you attach it, it will pull your spring down. So the spring will come down and stand at any particular value. Which is nothing but the mass of that particular stone or any unknown object which you are going to use. So this is how your spring balance will work. Okay. The spring balance works upon the principle of extension. Okay, it works upon the principle of which one? Extension that is increase in the length. As the spring increases, the more the mass it is. Okay, as it increases, more the mass it is. So I will send a separate video, the working of spring balance to you. So look at this. Thus the spring balance works on the principle that the extension increase in length produced in the spring is directly proportional to the gravitational force acting upon it when no object is placed on it the markings will be on zero okay so it's a very simplest uh, activity which you can do uh, if you go to some shops and all you can find this kinds of spring balance which is suspended everywhere 
so now you will understand how the spring balance is working on